Hey everybody, this is Arturo and this is a new video, a quick time-lapse video I made of uh, the latest character in the, the Legend of the Bear and the Fox series. Um, it's a personal project that I've been working on for quite some time where I mix the, um, the, the legends of King Arthur and uh, Robin Hood and I'm also including uh, characters from uh, well-known fairy tales. In this case, I wanted to work on this character because uh, I was uh, inspired to make this because of the character design challenge for, for this month for February was Fairy Tale Fighting Arena. And uh, the leg I love uh, fighting games and uh, the concept of having uh, a free for all or a fighting game with uh, fairy tale characters. Is, uh, is seemed pretty cool and seemed very much in line with what I've been doing with with the legend of the bear and the fox so I was inspired to work on the the snow queen I had a few options I mean um, I was working on the huntsman a version of the huntsman from the the red riding hood story where uh, the huntsman is uh, the where is a, a werewolf so it's a mix of, of both characters, the, the hero, or one, a hero character and the villain. Um, but I found some outfits from, from Belarus and uh, Russia and that part of the world that were very beautiful and very inspiring for uh, a snow queen. And uh, I was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely what I'm going to do. And uh, it's always keeping with the coloring of uh, Frozen, you know. It, yes, it's it's a blonde Snow Queen. I could have made her hair white or even gone with, with darker features and, um, and far more colorful with greens and reds and things like that. But that might, that might have looked too Christmassy, which doesn't mean it wouldn't have worked. But um, it's uh, it's not Mrs. Claus, you know. It's it's the Snow Queen, and uh, in this case, this character is the Snow Leopard. Uh, I love Snow Leopards; they're really beautiful animals, and um, I mean, beautiful character, beautiful animal. That's that's what I was going for. Um, she obviously can make ice creatures with her powers, and you want them to be. To show that they're dangerous, so they're they're sharp ice creatures. I could have gone with um, with a an, a falcon or something like that, like an ice falcon or even a snow owl. But uh, my character, my interpretation of Merlin, already has an owl, so that, that would have been a bit too repetitive, I think. And even Morgana has uh, ravens coming out of her magic powers. And so, I mean, going with the dragon, going with the fantasy creature was, was the way to go in this case. Um, I had a lot of fun working on, on this particular character. I've been working on anthropomorphic characters lately, and it was, uh, it was a, nice, uh, a nice break. doesn't mean that I don't love working on anthro characters still, but every once in a while you, have, you get to work on these 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 interpretations anyway this video is almost done I want to do a, a quick video to to break down the process adding a bit of texture from real ice and you know, giving them little tweaks here and there this is the final image I'm very happy with how she came out obviously there's more to work out more to refine but I'm happy with this with this version. This is the updated cast of the project, The Legend of the Bear and the Fox. So far so good. <laughs> I love I'm I'm having a lot of fun with this. Anyway, here are some more videos. Stay tuned for more. Bye.